Hi there beautiful souls. So I was contacted a little bit of a while ago um, by a lovely lady who owns an apothecary in the UK and the name of the apothecary is Dominia Lua Apothecary Esoteric Herbalism. This is the beautiful packaging. This is the address I should say and the name just there so you can see it for yourself I may be mispronouncing it so if I am I do apologize but she um, sent me through a few little things to um, to unbox and have a little bit of a look at and so the words esoteric herbalism make me go Whoa! so I can't wait to sort of see what's inside of here and I'm gonna show you exactly what's inside yay total side note this is so well packaged Look at that. <laughs> it's been marked. <laughs> I'm having at it right now. So I'm going for it. Ooh. Check it out. We've got some packing peanuts right there. So it's been beautifully packaged. Mmm. Do you see what's inside? Firstly, let me just say that I was blown away by the little cards that are contained therein. Look at this beautiful one. Look at it. And it's it's kind of got that spot gloss thing going on. And then the back of it is that. And so she is Christina Pendolfo, Dianic Priestess, Esoteric Herbalist, Plant Spirit Healer. And that's so beautiful. And this is the card for the apothecary. Isn't it gorgeous? And that's Witchcraft Emporium and Esoteric Herbal Apothecary. So it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love the both of them. That's really, really gorgeous. This one here though, like I really want to get the gloss on it. It's kind of got that, um, that uh, opalescence to it. Really pretty. Okay, so in the package that I have just received, there is Wild Woman Female Empowerment Oil. I love it. I love the sound of that. Uh, Blessing Spell Aura Spray. Uh, Mystic Essences. Mystic Essences. Lilith's Potion Natural Perfume. <sighs> I've got a story about Lilith that I would like to tell at a, at a different time because it's boss. Uh, attraction powder, yummy, yummy. And there we have it. That's it, there we have it. So I'm gonna leave uh, Christina's details in the description bar below, all of her links. And um, she has many, so you can uh, really connect with her in on Instagram, on Facebook, and obviously through her shop as well. So, just wanted to let you know that she is easily contactable and I can't wait to have a look at these beautiful products. So, yay! Okay, so here are the products and I'm going to go through them one at a time and have a little snippety sniff. This one here looks particularly intriguing. Okay, so this one here is Lilith's Potion. I had to go for it first because it looked the most intriguing. Look at how gluggy it is. Ooh. Sorry, needs to focus. I'm going to have a little sniff. Okay, so I'm excited. This is it. If you can see, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. Oh, it's a little roller ball. There you can see the little roller ball just there. <gasps> Get on my skin. Oh, yum. This is what I want to smell like today. I'm gonna to put this all over me. Oh my god. <laughs> I smell like a dessert. A heady, delicious tone of cinnamon somewhere in there. Dessert. I smell like a dessert. <laughs> oh my god, it's so delicious. <laughs> 
<laughs> Next, we have the Wild Woman Empowerment Oil, which I cannot wait to, to sniff. Okay, so here it is. Mmm, very, very tasty. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Hope it doesn't clash with my Lilith oil. Ooh. Oh, that, it reminds me of something. Ooh, it's got a sort of like a menthol-y, um, maybe men, no. It just reminds me of something. I can't put my finger on it. It's very crisp. It's very crisp and up uplifting. Every time I smell it, I, I pick up different notes. I don't want to put it on my skin at the moment because I've already put the Lilith oil on. I was very eager. I was over eager. If there could be such a thing as over eager, I was. Ooh, really interesting. I'm going to have to try that one. Demoza, after this one wears off. Oh, I can't. <laughs> it's so yummy. I love me a spray. I've got to say, I love a spray, mostly because I feel like I'm a Taurus. I like beautiful, luxurious things. I love perfume. The thing that I collect most, second to tarot, is perfume. And so scents, oils, perfume, all of that sort of um, scent trigger orient oriented um, delightfulness is something that I really get behind. And so room sprays and, and sacred spaces spray and aura sprays and just magical smudge sprays are things that I really, really enjoy. I like it when my home smells really delicious. This is why I burn incense and oils and, and, and you know, try to connect with the world of scent in that way. It's also why I like to grow fragrant herbs and, um, and flowers as well, because I just love it. And I find that scent is that beautiful trigger to memories. And as I get older, I find that I'm attaching such such a beautiful love, compassion, synergy to my sense and to my memories as a result of those because they just, you know, they're exploding now. They're exploding in this beautiful, delicious way. And so, yeah, scent is really important to me. If, if you stayed with me through that little ramble and you've connected with anything that I've said, then you and I are very kindred in that regard because... I do love to smell beautiful. I like my home to smell beautiful. I'm very triggered by scent and, and you know, it goes directly to my memory bank and that's just the way that I'm geared. It could be because I'm a Taurus. It could be because that's my personality. But if you're out there and you're like me, then, yeah, we're connected. We can be friends. <laughs> right. Ooh. <laughs> it's a very fine mist spray I would like to say it's a very fine mist spray I like the ultra fine mists I actually have here's a tip I actually have a artist spray it's an ultra fine artists spray that I use for watercolor and I had the delicious idea of putting some oils in there I think the nozzle will get a bit clogged if there is oil in there but it might be able to put off that beautiful little misty spray like super fine mist you know what I mean mm. and the last product in there is an attraction powder mm. here it is it is a little glass jar and it's got a decent little cork stopper it's very very fine it's very finely ground that went right up my nose then. <laughs> That'll teach me. <laughs> it went right up my nose. <laughs> it's beautiful though. I accept. <laughs> ah, yummy. It's a very fine powder. And so I could actually use this one in combination with the Come To Me oil and that came in last month's moon box. And, um, and mix the two together to create a beautiful attraction blend. 
that would be wonderful. And to be clear, attraction doesn't necessarily mean romantic attraction or sexual attraction. It can be the attraction of success, the attraction of opportunity, the attraction of a raise for, you know, you who want a raise in your employment. Spectre? Scepter? You know what I mean? Can't speak. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Attraction, broad concept, okay? Um, not specifically geared towards love and romance. It can be geared towards various different things. So this could be utilized in a wonderful variety of ways. You need only be a little teensy bit creative, which I feel like I am from time to time at least. <laughs> So I would like to read just a little bit about the owner, Christina, because I was going over the little note here and I thought this was really beautiful and um, yeah, I just thought that I would share this with you. So Christina Dianara Pandolfo is the owner of Dominia Lunea Apothecary. I still have powder up my nose. It's delightful, don't get me wrong, but it's there and it's itchy. <laughs> Um, she has been initiated in the Dianic tradition and officially ordained Dianic clergy priestess by the Temple of Diana, Los Angeles, California. She is also author, trained phytotherapist, esoteric herbalist, plant spirit healing practitioner, and landscape architect specialized in healing gardens and therapeutic landscape. Um, she has been teaching classes and workshops about witchcraft and female spirituality in Italy and abroad since 2010. So she's quite an interesting lady it would seem and I've got to say the section on uh, practitioner, oh, sorry, landscape architect specializing in healing gardens and therapeutic landscapes actually caught my attention because I think that that's really beautiful. Um, and she teaches feminine spirituality. Uh, so we're talking sacred divine, feminine, we're talking the goddess, we're talking about female-oriented spiritual expressions. And so um, very much, you know, in line with Dianic Wicca, if you know anything about Dianic Wicca, very feminine empowerment oriented. So and that is it. So what a beautiful little treasure that I have just received. I am literally buzzing right now with the scent of this delicious... Oh, it's settled on my skin now. Oh my god, it's settled. Now that it's settled, it smells almost completely different. I smell so good right now. I smell so good right now. Oh, it's so yummy. It's so yummy. Oh, this one here, oh, my absolute favorite. I'm going to be rocking this one for a little while now, probably until this all is used up. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, with all of that said and done, beautiful souls, I'll leave all of the links to this particular video unboxing and the goodies therein in the description bar below. So look forward to um, having a little browse for yourself, having a little look if you're in that area of Europe in the UK region there, you will be able to connect with this a little bit better. If you're willing to import, then you will not be disappointed. These are beautiful, beautiful items. They really are. They are beautifully packaged, thoughtfully presented, and they smell absolutely divine. I'm still smelling the attraction spray in my nose. So I'm wondering if I'm going to attract something to me today because it's all over me. I've actually inhaled this. It's part of my body now and I'm emitting that uh, sacred magical energy. Let's see how today goes. I'll let you know. <laughs> Much love, many blessings, guys. Please look after yourself.